It's Jake Mace with LearnFromJake.com here with my friend Sakan Lam. Please check out his YouTube and his social media links down below. We were just in a video together talking about the wooden dummy and how to use the techniques of the Muren Zhuang on the street. You have a martial art you've been practicing lately called Silat. Tell us a little bit about Silat. So Silat is a traditional martial art you can uh, find in Southeast Asia, particularly in Malaysia, Indonesia, Southern Philippines, Southern Thailand, parts of Vietnam. Um, it's a very traditional martial art. There's a lot of forms. Mm. Kata, we call them jurus. Mm. Yeah. And uh, so when I've watched you do your bagua, I see a lot of similarities in the movements. If you guys don't know, bagua zhang, or the eight changes of the palm, is one of the traditional styles of Chinese Kung Fu. It's one of the sister arts, Tai Ji Chen, or Tai Chi, Xing Yi Chen, or or Xing Yi and Bagua Zhang, the eight directional palm. So maybe I can show a couple moves of Bagua and you could show how they are also found in Silat and maybe the self defenses of them for street survival. Sure thing, we could try to bridge the gap. There's a movement in classical Bagua Zhang that my friend Sakan says is also found in Silat and the application is very effective for fighting. And it's in the beginning of Bagua when we open the hands this way and then we offer the hands this way. This is ride the horse and ask the way, then we turn and under the leaves hide the flowers, wild ducks come out as a flock. And when a Silat practitioner like yourself sees this, you see some arm drag, yes? Yes, so uh, the movement that we're looking for, we call the Shabandar. And Shabandar and Sila is pretty much an arm capture, an arm grab. So we can go on the outside or we can go on the inside. So this movement, we're going to go to the inside. Say someone decides to throw a right hook at us, I'm going to flock and I'm going to capture. I'm going to swing it and an arm drag and get myself away. Mm -hmm. So it's important when we drag that I'm pulling towards the corner, towards the 45, I'm using my lat muscles. And after the finish, I'm going to put my ear against his shoulder or his lat, just so that I protect myself so he can't elbow me or headbutt me or anything like that. I'm going to drag and make my way out. People don't realize that for fighting, closing that space is very important. Absolutely important, absolutely important, especially um, if you don't want to get hit in the face. <laughs> One more time. Here, block, I shoot under. I capture, I swing, and I drag, I push my ear, and push, I can go for the back. It's really up to you. Once from this side? Sure thing.
second move is found in the kata or the form training of Bagua, but also of Silat. That's right. And you're going to show the fighting application for us. Sure. What do you want me to do? Uh, so if an opponent throws, uh, say, a lead hook, I'm going to period out here. I'm going to wipe the eyes and throw the elbow. This is an elbow sandwich. And then from here, I'm going to do what we call an elbow kenjit, a siko kenjit. It's a compression. It's going to sweep over him. Especially if I'm in a nice low horse stance. Stand. That horse stance. It's not just for conditioning. Not just for conditioning. All right, pick up the left base. Base. So your body position right there. Tell me why you like that position. Because uh, we're marrying the hips. So it's going to be a, a sweep. Uh, some people call it the tabletop sweep. Mm -hmm. uh, a bumping. Here, go for the eyes. This is the elbow sandwich. There's my sweep there. favorite techniques from classical Bagua Zhang is the Bien Hu, the bat falls to the ground. And when you see this move being done in Bagua, you said in Silat, you've got a fighting application that looks pretty similar to this Bagua technique. Quite similar. We call this motion the Kobak. It's a rolling shoulder motion and it's mm. also a single leg takedown. Mm. So in uh, Silat, we like to do a lot of entries. So to bridge the gap, we allow our enemy to come in. So we tend to open up center line, opening up the line, which is different to other arts like Wing Chun. So I'm inviting the attack in, he's going to punch, and I'm going to gunting or destroy the bicep. I can use my uh, knife hand here, it doesn't really matter. But from here I'm going to shoot to the eyes, to the face, it doesn't really matter, I'm really get, just getting a uh, reaction. From here I'm going to go down, I get low, I'm going to reach over here, hook the ankle, and I'm going to use my shoulder and roll it. The only way I can roll is if I turn this palm over. See, already he's losing his balance. And at the same time, I'm scooping this ankle up. So again, this motion, very similar to our Vagwa motion that Sifu Jake was showing, right? We call that the Kobak. We've been training this technique for the past 30 minutes or so, and my bicep has taken the abuse. So can the camera come in and show what you're doing to that bicep? Because that's, I'm getting taken down, but that's the move that's hurting the yeah, most. Yeah, we call this a gunting. It's not going to knock anybody out, but really it's just a one single step onto um, the goal, which is uh, to get him in the eyes, get him in the face, get his attention elsewhere, and then go for the takedown. It's like you're chipping away, chipping yeah, away. Yeah, exactly. So as he punches, I'm going to split this here, and I'm going to use my knuckles here. What part of the fist are you using? Yeah, I'm using these four knuckles here, or I can use my knife hand, uh, right? And then I want to think of a... A ricochet, bing, bing, mm. bam, bam. Okay. So he comes in, one, two, oof. and then from here I shoot down. That gives me our kobak. Nice. One more time from this angle. Nice. Yeah, I can feel I'm going back down the <laughs> chimney here. Yeah, I don't want to kill you. <laughs> one more time. Show me that detail of that bicep sure. hit. Oh, that's so brutal, dude. 
Nice. Well, show us how this should look in full speed and slow-mo. No problem, friend. <laughs>